Hey guys, I'm just making this video to help anyone that ever has a, a chest catheter. How do you shower with it? This is what the uh, chest catheter looks like. It goes straight into your chest, up through your neck. Um, the best tip that I could give you is if you can find these somehow, probably can't see them because it's reversed, but all it is is this little, it's this little uh, package and it's a Band-Aid. You place it right on top of it. That allows me to take a shower with no problems. What I don't do is I don't get my hair wet and I don't let the water run down. So essentially what I do is I have a hand nozzle and I kind of just wash all over, not getting this area wet and not doing like this area. So if I wanted to wash my hair on my face, I would simply tilt down, use the hair washer, the, the handle, and then let all the hair, um, all the water like rush off that way. And then the second I'm done, I get a towel, I cover it, and then kind of like wash my, and dry my face upward. That's allowed me to do that since June of last year. Um, you know, when, when you, when they tell you, well, you can't shower with it, you're going to have to take a uh, bath all the time. I mean, this is just what I did. You don't have to take it. You take it with a grain of salt. Everyone's different, but I've done this since June and I never had an issue. I always change the band-aids myself. They give you alcohol swabs. So when you're at the dialysis center, well, I think dialysis centers are different. When um, I originally started dialysis, they they have like this tape. They, they just like put a piece of cloth on it and they tape it. It's ridiculous. It's like unsanitary and it's not the best thing for it, you know? And then it's, it's always itchy. So if you itch like once, the whole thing comes off. So, I mean, that's my advice for you guys. If you... Um, could find those. I got those when I had the PD. And when I started getting PD catheter, um, that's the one in the stomach overnight. Um, you know, the girl gave me a bunch of boxes and I just used them. Um, cause I know if you pay for them out of pocket anywhere, those or anything else, they're very expensive, especially like the shower ones. So, um, I'm just trying to help you guys out cause this is my last day of dialysis today. I go in in about like a half hour. So I'm not going to have this come next week because once I have the transplant, they're going to remove it. So, um, yeah, just take that with a grain of salt. Uh, if it helps anyone, you know, I'm just trying to help and do as much as I can before my transplant because once it's gone. Um, and plus, I had this since June. This is normally a short term solution. So June, July, I mean, it's almost a year pretty much. Um, what happened was my fistula in my left arm uh, didn't work. So actually, my first one, they did, I can't see, on my wrist right here, you can kind of see the scar. For all the boys and girls out there that work out, do not get that one. Because when you do research um, as far as, what is it, the peritoneal, um, the, I, the one with the, uh, with the fistula. So when you get the fistula, it, it's going to deform your arm and it's going to look really bad. So someone who me, someone like me, that's always big into weightlifting and forearms is my favorite body part. I'm glad the first one failed because my whole arm right now would look kind of weird. I'll show you guys real quick. This is, so this is how my arm looks now. That vein is new and this bump, you can see. So my arm doesn't look that bad compared to most because it's not really working. So what they would have to do is they're going to have to go under here. This is normally where they would um, stick the needles in. But you can also see the side effect of it. It's all brown and scarred. Because the girls who didn't know anything, well, some of them, uh, they punctured it a bunch of times. And even if you move a little bit, it could puncture it. So if they don't have it in the right position, take down properly, it can get punctured. So the best benefit about this one here that failed this whole area is not going to get any type of bumps or bruises or scars. So especially when you're out, you can use a short sleeve shirt. It kind of blocks everything. So some people are self-conscious about it. One of my friends is because uh, his arm is all messed up from when they do it. And then also, if you get that, ask for a buttonhole. That's a good, that's a, they put a hole, they put like this piece of plastic or um, this basically a buttonhole so that it's it's the same spot every time it limits the risk of them just screwing up your arm uh, i wish i knew more um but i'm gonna go to dialysis now guys 
wish me well. Um, I'll have a GoFundMe linked in there if you guys want to help me out. I'm not going to be working for a very long time until this is all healed. But thanks and have a good day.